Nearly 600,000 people have seen this remarkable video of a human pushing himself to the limit. Yes, this is Tommy Carroll, and despite being blind since the age of two, he can do this. To see somebody doing something as difficult physically as skateboarding, and he's just flawlessly doing it by using a totally different sensory input, it's, it's really, really humbling to see. I think Tommy is an exceptional human being. He was born with retinoblastoma, which prevented him from seeing the world. And he has overcome this by using his hearing. How does Tommy use sound to skate? Tommy is actually using a form of echolocation to be able to skate in this way. He's sending out sounds that would be the sounds from the wheels on his skateboard, and he's analyzing the sounds that come back to him. Using sound in this way allows Tommy to form a mental map of the park. Many of us can do this. We're just not really aware of it. Think about what it sounds like when you fill up a glass with water. You know without looking when it's getting close to the top. And this is the kind of sensation that Tommy has been able to manipulate to a great extent, much greater than, than somebody with sight would be able to do. So Tommy's using echolocation to determine his position by the sound of the skateboard. How else can this technique be used? Tommy's actually not unique in his ability to use echolocation to essentially see his environment. Um, other people who've lost their sight will make clicks. They don't have skateboard wheels, so they'll audibly make clicks in order to help them navigate their environments. Brain scans of people that are actively using this kind of echolocation technique show that the area of the brain that is being utilized at this time is the visual cortex. This is the same area that sighted people use to put images together. So people who have lost their sight have the ability to use their visual cortex to interpret sound. Because of this, I guess it's fair to say that Tommy is actually seeing with sound.